148 scale B, B24. Uh, and 148, that means one inch, one physical inch here equals four feet on the model. So if you were to take out one inch, you could kind of get an idea for just how big the aircraft is. Uh, this particular model is unique in that uh, several uh, resin pieces were built for it. So to distinguish it from B-24 models that are, you'll see elsewhere, uh, the, it was largely uh, to correct a few uh, flaws in the original moldings, uh, primarily which the engine nacelles have included there. But also, uh, as you'll notice, the aircraft has uh, drop collar flaps. Uh, so we've got the flaps cast in resin, the uh, flat bays are cast in resin, as are the main landing gear bays. Uh, the engines are also manufactured and dropped in there. Uh, the original kit featured a one-piece cowling with an inaccurate shape, and the engine was molded in there. And you'll build that model, you remember, that's one of the, one of the features of it. So that's all been corrected. Uh, we feature, uh, she's got uh, open cowl flaps on here. And then also, uh, in, in trying to be as accurate with Carswell's aircraft as possible, the uh, ball turret has been removed uh, from the, uh, also, uh, uh, acquired some of the uh, Yogi antennas and mat uh, matched them or mounted them to the side of the fuselage. Uh, the aircraft from nose to tail is completely detailed on the interior. Uh, going from the navigator station all the way through the cockpit. If you have an opportunity to take a look inside the cockpit, you'll see uh, a throttle quadrant along with prop and mixture controls. You'll see a complete uh, uh, instrument package in there, accurate for the B-24J. Uh, let's see, the turrets are all armed. Uh, we've got guns in there, details in there. Uh, the bomb bay is completely uh, scratch built. So the racks, there's uh, it's a unique rack structure. There's two racks, sets of racks in the aircraft, but on the forward uh, bomb bay portion, there's an extra vertical strut going in there as well on either side. So that's all in there. I painted a special note on one of the bombs, uh, knowing that uh, Major Carswell was from Texas. We're all from Texas, and as native Texans, we're all pretty proud of our heritage. So I put a little special message that it may not have been out of, out of place uh, at that point in the war here. So when you get it under the display on the mirror, you'll see that. Uh, the aft portion of the aircraft is also completely detailed with uh, photo etch material. Uh, the one thing I did not do was I did not put uh, the waste guns in here because you had to have a place to grab a hold of this thing uh, to move it. And I, just, I felt that, that those waste guns would probably just get in the way, so we left those out just to pretend they're stowed uh, inside the aircraft. But that's the place to, to grab this thing here. Uh, the one problem uh, that this kit has had since its inception are the turrets. So keeping accurately with the aircraft, we, 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 we found, uh, we located two consolidated or representations of the consolidated turrets, but they are, uh, Monogram uh, produced them in halves, and, and we tried experimenting with uh, some vacuum forming, just couldn't get the tops to reconcile to the bottom portion of the fuselage, so you'll notice here that I have uh, seams going across that I've tried to uh, recreate as a frame. So that is one inaccuracy in the model. The turrets are accurate, but they do have the seam going down the center. Uh, okay, that's that's basically the, mo oh, the model also features metal landing gears because with all the resin on here, uh, there was no way that those plastic landing gear were going to support this thing after about a year. So the metal landing gear should ensure that it, it stays uh, upright without any uh, wobbles or so forth for quite some time. Uh, getting back to Carswell's specific airplane, the aircraft he was flying on the night that uh, he lost his life, uh, a lot of research, a lot of documentation available about his squadron and sister ships in his squadron, but uh, not a lot of information available on that specific aircraft. So uh, the, the features that we, we know are accurate are the yellow rudders and the yellow diamonds on the horizontal tails along with the tail number 440825. We know those are accurate. Uh, the stars and bars, there wasn't a whole lot of stenciling on the aircraft that we know of. There's some conjecture that the uh, star on the lower uh, uh, left hand right-hand wing had a uh, gray star on it. Not real sure about that. I just left it white. So wasn't able to validate that for sure. Uh, the shark mouth is probably the biggest conjecture. Uh, we have doc photo documentation showing that uh, Carswell's sister ships had shark mouths adorning them. We thought that in the interest of, uh, well first off, the statistical probability was that his aircraft that he was flying that night may have had a shark mouth on there. But visually, it's a shark mouth on something as large as the B-24 is impressive. Uh, this is where one of the joys of being a modeler comes into play here is that well, you, can, you can make that artistic leap. So we, we acquired, uh, I say we, I want to mention Paul Metz here and, and the work and the help he gave in his project, not only with research, but Paul is the reason why we've got a shark mouth on here. He's got a uh, software package and a machine that cuts out uh, stencils. Uh, we've been experimenting with these things on a number of models. 
and this is probably one of the, this is the largest shark mouth we've ever done. Uh, his stencils came out brilliantly. Uh, we took these from uh, templates from uh, another, like I said, one of the other aircraft in Carswell's, uh, one of its sister ships from the squadron. Use that as a template, so it's adorned on both sides here. The eye goes over the navigator's window, and uh, it, it actually, looks, I think it looks pretty good on here. So that's about it uh, for the model. This has been a uh, first. It's just absolutely been a pleasure to do, and I'd like to thank you for allowing me to, to complete this build. Like I was explaining uh, earlier, with my family has close ties to B-36 and to Carswell Air Force Base because my father flew B-36s, my mom and my dad were both in the Air Force, stationed at Carswell at the same time, that's where they met, that's how I came about, and uh, <laughs> certainly grateful for everybody for that. Thank Don't you. give out too many uh, There will be no more details beyond that. So. <laughs> Who built that?